After you upload your photo into Sketches Pro, make sure that this is on its own layer. Before we go in and start adding new layers, I just want you to see my here, near, and far layer. I have larger trees on my here layer and smaller trees on my near layer where I am drawing my first elk. And then I drew a larger elk on my here layer, which I am now going over and adding finer details after I added a new layer for my first layer for atmospheric perspective. Then, right now, I'm adding details over my near layer, which I created a second layer to do this. And I'm doing the same thing for my trees. I'm going in and adding more details than I had originally planned. And this is all in my near layer, which I labeled number two. When I finish my near layer, I will add a third layer, which will be my far layer. Though because I have mountains and trees back there, I decided to create two far layers back there, one specifically for my trees and then one specifically for my mountains. So I have four layers total. Now I created a new layer, chose a base color, and now I'm creating a value scale. I'm doing my tints first and now I'm going in to block out my shades. And now I'm going in and plugging in these values. So my darker colors pop forward more. So I'm gonna use those for my here, my foreground, and then lighter colors as I work my way back. Okay, and then just adding some final touches. Going in, filling out my trees. You don't have to use one specific value, you can change some of them so some pop out forward more and some recede. So I made some of my trees in the back a little bit lighter. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed these demos on Atmospheric Perspective. When you are finished, make sure you save your drawing and upload it to Google Classroom. Here you can see my finished work.